Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk to you about power banks because we all need power banks for our smartphones, for our tablets, cameras, headphones and pretty much anything that we have with us uh, needs to recharge at some point. So there are so many power banks in different forms, shapes and capacities. Let's imagine that you have a phone that has a 5000 milliamp battery inside and you want to charge this phone twice throughout the day. So technically you're gonna need a power bank with a capacity of about 10,000 milliamps so you can actually charge this phone twice. So you'd buy this, but then you're gonna charge the phone once and uh, well the battery pack is gonna die after that. And I found that this happens with a lot of battery packs. So I went ahead and I bought 8 power banks from different manufacturers with different capacities because I wanted to find out the real capacities for each one of these power banks and to figure out which one is better. So first I fully charged all the power banks that you've seen on my desk there and after that I started charging different devices from uh, those power banks and I wrote down uh, how much battery I had on that phone or tablet or whatever at the beginning uh, of the charging cycle and at the end. And I did that until uh, each power bank was depleted. So after writing down every single device that I charged from uh, each uh, power bank, I was able to get a better understanding of uh, the real capacity for each of these power banks. So starting with the 20,000 milliamp Aoki power bank, out of this one I was actually able to get about 12,700 milliamps. And that's a loss of about, I don't know, 40% almost, so a big loss uh, for that one. The next one is going to be a 10,000 uh, milliamp power add uh, power bank and out of that one I was able to get about 6,700 uh, milliamps so again we still have a loss of about 33%. The next one was a 12,000 milliamp uh, power add uh, power bank and out of that one I was able to get only about 6,100 milliamps so that's an even bigger loss there. The next one is a 22,000 milliamp uh, EA technology power bank. And out of that one I was only able to get about 13,000 uh, milliamps, so yet another big loss uh, for that one. And moving on to the next one, the 5200 milliamp uh, EC technology power bank, out of that one I was able to get about 3600 uh, milliamps, so again another loss. And moving to the smallest one, the 2400 milliamp uh, EC technology power bank, out of that one I was actually able to get about uh, 1300 milliamps. So close to 45-50% loss for that one as well. So basically the capacity that's written on the back of each individual power bank doesn't really mean anything because we don't get anywhere close to that capacity in real life. So most power banks have 3.7 volt battery packs inside them and most phones have batteries ranging from 3.7 to 4.4 volts and you can check that by taking a look at uh, your phone's uh, battery. Now, to charge a phone or a tablet or anything like that, um, we need USB ports, so we have a USB port on the battery pack and a USB port on uh, the other device. Now, USB ports run at 5 volts, so what has to happen first, the battery pack has to convert its 3.7 volts into 5 volts for the USB port and you're gonna lose about 15-20% of the power right there. This is called the conversion efficiency and it will be somewhat different for each power bank. So basically with every single power bank you're gonna lose about 20% right from the beginning. So next the current will go from the power bank to the phone and there the battery inside the phone needs to charge at about 3.7 to 4.4 volts depending on the battery. So you're gonna have to downstep uh, that uh, 5 volts that you got from the battery pack. So you're gonna lose some more power this time again. So the second time that we lose power and this time around you're gonna lose around 10-15%. So by now just by charging a simple device you already lost about 35-40% uh, of the capacity of that uh, particular power bank. Just because you had to do that up conversion uh, in voltage and then the down conversion uh, in voltage so the phone can actually charge. So we lose a lot of power just by charging devices. Now some of these power banks may not actually have the real capacity written on them and if that's the case we lose even more from that um, advertised capacity. So you always have to keep that in mind whenever you're uh, planning to buy a power bank. So let's say that your phone um, has a 5000 mAh battery as I said before and you want to charge that phone twice. Well taking the consideration the 40% loss 
So basically you're gonna need a power bank that's about 15,000 milliamps so you can actually charge that uh, phone twice. So it is a bit disappointing, but uh, considering that these power banks aren't that expensive, you have to keep that um, in mind and just opt for uh, one that has a bigger capacity. Hopefully this video was useful. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.